they asked blank the questions in the book. What word do we have left that would fit there? They asked almost, yes, all. They asked almost all the questions in the book. Not a hundred percent, not all, almost all. So there were 100 questions in the book and they asked 98 of them. So let's say this out loud. Can you say that for me? Yes. Asked. 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 <laughs> ed is the is the T E D. Asked. Asked. That's hard. It's hard. Asked. That's a hard one. All right, last one, M. M. Blank. I said I'd come. So we all know the answer because it's the only one left. Finally, and we capitalize it since it's in the beginning. Finally, I said I'd come or I would. Same thing. So let's say this out loud. Finally, Finally I said I come. Finally, I said I would come. So finally is like you've been saying you're going to come. You keep saying it, saying it, saying it. Finally, you came. <laughs> yes. All right, good job. Okay, I, real quickly, I have homework. Since it will be my last day on Friday, uh, Say what? I said that. Sometimes I say it and yeah. one right. Sometimes I say that. Sometimes I say it. I would come. Sometimes, sometimes I say I would come. Sometimes I said that. I would come. That. Sometimes I said that. Sometimes I say that. Sometimes I say that I would come. Sometimes she said that she would come. That. Let me. Where where I say what is what are the conditions? Yes, when I say I say that. I would visit my friend. Sometimes I say that I would visit my friend without that. No, what I mean? Can I teach you? Yeah. And then I need to write something. I said, I said. Um, either one. Either one. Either one. Either one for Well, okay. I said that you were going to come. I said you, that you. You could use it both ways. Both is okay. Okay. Yeah.
Yeah, they sound fine to me. Okay, so this is homework for f to bring back to bring back on Friday. I want you to answer this question. What did you learn from teacher Julie? Julie's English class. That's number one. Number two, what would help you improve your English? You know what? Just two. So you can think about it. Tomorrow there's no school, so you have to think about it. <laughs> I know, I shouldn't. It's probably not proper, but it's okay. Sorry. Proper, proper noun. So, English or language, the English language is a form of communication. It's how we talk to each other, communicate. And it has three components to, to speak English good. Three components. Three elements, three components. Elements, same thing. Three elements to speak good English. One, grammar. Two, vocabulary. And three, pronunciation. So you need all three of these to be able to speak and write to communicate. So grammar is rules like a period, a question mark, a comma, a noun in a question, a verb, and putting them in the right place. Vo the teacher, yes. Uh, grammar, a, a, a. Yeah, it's both ways. 
I've seen it spelled both ways. It can be AR too. Yeah. But it's okay, ER? Both ways? Vocabulary are your words, what words mean. And pronunciation is saying it correctly. So when you answer these questions, you might think about what parts you want to improve. Do you want to work on pronunciation? 